So first of all, before we go to the, the game, also the big news on Monday from the club. Is that a, a, kind of a, a sudden good news for you as, as well as a lot of other people here? Yeah, listen, I think um, obviously I think everyone's known that there has been a bit of, uh, a, a bit of change uh, in the very nature. Um, well, it has been for a period of time. Alan Burrows, uh, obviously, done a fantastic job at this football club um, and had moved on. So in terms of that chief executive position, uh, most will know that, that Derek Weir has sat in post um, and it's it, and it's been termed kind of interim, I suppose, when it's went as long as it has been then. It's, it's, it's not quite deemed interim. Um, but, you know, Derek's been very supportive of myself. Um, there's been quite a, a clear remit of what we need to do and, and, and how we need to how we need to work financially. Um, so yeah, obviously a big change from from Alan uh, going out f for the club. Obviously trying to find that that that, that little bit of stability and find your level almost um, and where you need to be. And in with regards to to, to Jim, yeah, obviously I I found out before everyone else that that was that 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 was how that was going to go and that announcement would be made. Um, but I think again, I would just like to take the opportunity to to thank both these guys from a personal point of view. They've been incredibly supportive of me. Um, obviously, a decision to bring myself into the football club and offer me the role full time, and 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 they've been nothing but a support from within that. And of course, there's challenges. There is there is challenges. There's challenges for all clubs in Scotland. Um, you know, would would we want that bigger budget? Would we want more players coming into the football club? We, we do. We all we all serve the same purpose. We all have the same vision and the same goal, which is to have the best team on the pitch possible and as many options as you possibly can to be winning games of football. But there are trials and tribulations in there. But what I'd like to go back on is um, that that's two two people that have supported this club since they were they were young. No, no one may tell you how many years that is, but they, they they've backed this football club since since they were very. very very young and what they've done in my opinion is they've, they've served the football club with distinction so these changes have been highlighted so that it gives the football club a, a chance to move forward and, and see exactly where we'll be in the coming months um, and to try and be proactive in what the next part is and what the next chapter is in the football club as well so it's important to mention that um, but again everyone will have their opinion and I know Derek and Jim will, will understand that but um, the one thing I know is that they're, they're, they're two really really good guys um, that I've got a lot of time and respect for um, and I believe that they've done nothing but the, the best that they can for this football club always with the best intention um, and I'm sure that they'll be acknowledged exactly as that as well Jim mentioned he feels that the club needs significant investment obviously the, you know, you've had to cut the waste ball but it had been higher than a lot of other clubs in a similar kind of area of the league you, does that affect you in January? Do you, do you feel that going forward you know, I think there's a lot of people on maybe three-year contracts from three years ago that you maybe have a chance next summer to to shape your squads yourself. Is that a process you think is is ongoing regardless of the, any investment? No, again, all I can comment on is the situation that that, that I've faced, and I think I've been pretty transparent by that. Um, and again. You take uh, you take a job. You understand that there's going to be there's going to be challenges in there, um, which undoubtedly there have been. Um, but you know this isn't a point for me to start slinging mud or telling people what we should have done two, three, four years ago. I think there's been an awful lot of good stuff. There's been an awful lot of good work at this football club. Um, when you stretch your mind back to um, getting into Europe top six finishes, cup finals, all these types of things. So there's been so many good things has is, is, is happened to the football club. So again, all I can sort of centre on and focus on is, is, is where I was, what I've inherited in February. Um, but I'm always big on this as well, I think. I think we're absolute masters of coming in and telling people what they should have done two, three, four years ago, two managers ago, and criticising each other and all the rest of it. I, I think it's absolute nonsense, to be honest with you. I think it's um, so many things would be relevant at the time, so many things would have transpired as as a result of um, the situation you found yourself in at that point. I also, if I, if I can link it to, I've seen it with recruitment, I've seen it with recruitment so many times, um, it's the old managers coming into a new football club, players aren't fit enough, I'm going to change this, um, but it's the same with players, you look at someone and go, oh, what did so-and-so see in a player? Or some, someone obviously seen uh, aspects of a player, that might not link to somebody like myself, what I see in a player may not link to other folk. So again, us going over that and starting to speak about the the ifs and buts 
is pretty relevant. Um, what I think we have done um, is I think we've been really prudent. I think we've we've we've, we've tried to sort of get things to what we feel is a kind of manageable situation. Um, within that, there's been a dramatic reduction, I suppose, in numbers of players. There's, there's, we're, we're quite a few players less overall at the football club. Um, from where we were, um, we see the challenges that were met with that. You know, when you've sort of eighteen or whatever uh, senior players, and you've got th three, four, five injuries, and that brings its it brings its own challenges. I've not complained about that too much, and I, I, I knew that that was a situation that we were going to find ourselves in. Um, but I think that the most important part in it is, and 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 I do go hard on this one. It's it's that we have to move forward now. We have to move in the right direction. We can't stumble across what comes next. We can't sort of guess what comes next. We need to be active as a football club and everything we do listen it all stems from what happens on that football pitch everybody's either happy or sad whether you're winning or losing games it's it's that simple um, but for us as a football club where we sit and the model we sit and uh, you know the, the finances are there the investment that's there quite clearly we see that there has to be uh, there has to be a, a, a slight change of direction a slight change of thought process and that's not to say that, that, that Jim and Derek haven't been pivotal in that they have They've, they've always wanted the best for this football club um, but times change you know um, the cost of living as we all talk about changes so to be sitting with the same or a less budget as, as things stand can be a challenge because football players cost more now the running of um, what you see out there in the, in the stadium and the pitch it all costs more the training facility we run an academy at this football club all these things cost lots and lots of money um, and from that purpose and from that point of view we have to make sure that one we can run all of those things but also that we can try and invest and get the best playing squad possible to us so again that proactive thinking and that has to be sometimes that you think outside the box and that you look for slightly different alternatives to see whether there can be whether it's whether there can be some sort of external investment that can just sort of nudge and help things along the way whether there's other people that want to help and be involved in the football club that can sort of make us a better version of what we currently sit at just now but again I keep speaking about trying to push boundaries try to win games of football and try to push the football club up the league I don't think that's changed over the years though that 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 will be something that will have sat at this football club for many years when Alan was the chief executive here I know that he would have been proactive in that and obviously Derek and Jim have always been trying to work towards trying to better things at this football club there's been loads of good work done and all it is now is that everyone can see that there's going to be a change in the offing um, and it's just us making sure as a football club that we get to that in the best possible place Just to get back to the here and now short term then do you have scope to bring players in in January is it the same as the summer where it's would have to be one in, one out. Uh, it looks like we'll have a little bit of scope again in terms of the detail of that right now. That that can alter and that can change. I uh, can't tell you exactly how many that's going to be. What I would love as it sits just now and what it looks like we might be able to do would possibly be one or two. Um, if there, there are other changes, I'm probably not in a position where I want to be losing players just now because I keep ref referencing the, the numbers, the actual numbers that we have sitting in the building. Um, but what we'd like to do is try and see if we can strengthen in one or two positions maybe give us uh, another alternative another option in one or two of those positions um, and as we always know in, in football even as kind of small as our numbers are I suppose in the playing squad then if one or two guys aren't getting the same opportunity or the opportunity they want then sometimes that can change sometimes that can alter but what I would say to you just now is that we're, we're absolutely sitting with a plan of where we, we you know what we can do today um, and, and as that looks to me on the face it looks like we might be able to bring in one potential potentially two to just complement uh, what we already have and just give us a little bit of hand and just give us a, a couple of options that maybe just help us moving forward. Just on the statement, Stuart, I think it's fair to say some fans are concerned, worried about where the next step is and whatnot. What would be your message to them who are maybe looking at significant investment, you hear those words and you do kind of take a step back? What's your message to those? No, again, I think we can dramatise things. I think we can dramatise things. I, I think that the, the, the clearest way that I can put it is that um, this isn't a knee-jerk reaction. It's probably something that everyone has kind of seen may may have been coming for a, a, a period of time, especially when we look at the chief executive um, <coughs> position. You know, that's it's not quite been a year, but it's, 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 it's been over that. And I can tell you that certainly Derek's not far 
apart from neglected his duties in, in doing that it's, it's been in a different version from what Alan had done it before but again I think that we start to create our own narratives and we start to sort of have this upheaval of you know there's mass change here or whatever I, I can genuinely stress this from my point of view and the conversations that I've had um, with the guys at the top of the tree here that this has only been done to, to try and see if we can move forward you know I mean very very simply I speak in, in, in Jim's case you look at where Jim's been in business throughout his life you look at his age now you look at the grandkids and all the rest of it there, there, there does come a time where um, potentially you have to hand the reins over to, to somebody else um, but again I can stress it's with the best intention it's, it's to make sure that we as a football club can get the right person in that helps us moving forward and as I say all the add-ons that you maybe refer to about significant investment and, and, and all the rest of it I've read one or two reports and one or two stories this week regarding other clubs we're all trying to move forward we're all trying to improve we all you know everyone is as individuals in life we're looking for that little bit more money to support and uh, strive forward in, in whatever we do uh, in our life so it's no different at Motherwell Football Club but again I'll say that with everyone that was involved previous managers chief executives um, and people on the board that will have been a mindset for, for several years at this football club we're always trying to find um, mechanisms to make us a, a, a better football club and one that our supporters can come here see the best players possible uh, that, 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 that we can produce and that we can put forward and then ultimately you want to try and gain the successes that may or may not come with that Looking on the field Christmas Eve, not ideal playing on Christmas Eve, I suppose, but Rangers come here, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, again, uh, th th this time of year for us inevitably just becomes a, a string of playing games and preparing to, to, to playing games. Um, it is that simple for us. Whether we're playing Christmas Eve, we can't control that, was something that was thrown out there um, pretty pretty late on for us. And to, to, to be honest, we never had a, a, a much of a, this is, well, there was no conversation and, and that that's what it was going to be. But very quickly, myself, the staff and the players, our minds switched to that's what it is and that's what we're going to do. I know Rangers will have to be the same. They've had a hectic schedule, a really hectic schedule. Um, so no, that that's that's what it is. We'll be, you know, not to, not to try and gain any brownie points, but we'll be um, we'll be we'll be in on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, game in the twenty seventh, and that's what it is for us now. Just get the head down and concentrate on what's in front of us. The, the, there's not going to be that time to celebrate Christmas and you know um, everything that comes along with that. Very much the focus for us is this game on Sunday against Rangers, which is going to be a huge challenge for us. Massive football club currently functioning really well in terms of winning games, big reaction from the new manager coming in, so we have all those challenges to face and for us to start thinking about you know, what, what Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is going to look like it's, it's, it's very much football and it's very much a focus of trying to get ourselves in a position where we can pick up points quite tough fixtures for the New Year in Rangers Aberdeen and Livingston. Does that almost heighten the need to get the points fast? No, that, you could throw another three fixtures at us, to be honest, it doesn't matter and the mindset's never changed. I understand why you say that, of course, because we find ourselves in a position where we're, we desperately want to win a game of football, um, but it, it doesn't matter who, who the teams were or what the what the fixtures are. This league brings the, the same challenges that there is no such thing as a, a, a given and somebody's going to roll over and give you a, a result. We're going to have to be our absolute best again on Sunday um, to try and see if we can take something out of this game but the one thing that does breed confidence in myself and the players albeit we face a different challenge because it's a different manager um, now in charge of Rangers is that we feel that with, with the likes of Rangers and Celtic um, in my time that we've been very very competitive we feel as if we've acquitted ourselves really well that doesn't guarantee that we're going to do that again on Sunday we're going to have to be everything that we have been um, in the sort of five or so games that we've had against Rangers and Celtic that have got us you know, pretty close we've not won one of them I have, to, I have to stress that as well we haven't won one of them um, but I tell you what we've gave them a few uh, a few frights along the way and we've um, I think we've defended and we've been structured really well along with creating some chances and we've scored a few goals in those games as well which which does give me positivity um, because I do separate those those games from a lot of the other ones just in the very nature of that sort of control of the ball and how that looks for us so um, that's something I'll remind the players of but I'll also be reminded them that we have to try and meet those levels to be to be competitive. We don't just turn up with a game plan and hope that that's going to work. How important is it that that stays intact when you head into these last fixtures before the new year? Yeah, so it's it's always the case we do we we are methodical in what we do. So um, again, we don't really just turn up and hope for the best and um, and 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 see what the what the outcome is. 
But again, just relating to it, the, the sort of St Johnston and St Mirren for me, the last two games, which hopefully for us was that kind of uh, that reset from what was a, a watershed one uh, with Ross County away from home. Um, I've seen a lot of signs of us. I feel getting back to what we're good at, and I feel um, starting to nudge closer to what so, something that gets you a, a, a proper result and gets you points on the board. Uh, I look at the, the game against St Mirren. We always knew it was going to be a challenge. Throw the conditions on that made it slightly more difficult again. Um, but how we, we defended pretty much throughout the game um, and the chances that we created albeit we didn't convert them then I think that that gives us a chance in pretty much every game in this in this division but the challenge for me the players is that we try and replicate that level of performance and concentration and if we do that um, all you do is give yourself a chance it's about getting a, a little bit of luck and, and making sure that you're ruthless when the big moments come Pretty much the same from last week. I'm not. I'm not really envisaging anything. Um, Callum Butcher's the one that's sort of pretty close, but um, we just need. To, we need to see how he is over the next two days. But um, it's been. Just a, a bit of a niggle he had in his calf uh, during the second half against Ross County and, and we've just kind of been working towards seeing if we can get him back in the group. But out with that, Lennon's moving along um, pretty well. Dan Casey we've got a time scale for um, and yeah, again, you're, you're probably going to see virtually the same squad that, that, that went against it, man. You've never used injuries as an excuse, but how difficult has that been to condemn them? No, it's been hard and you'll see that um, that there have been more changes than what there had been previously when we were on a string of winning winning games. But realistically from the start of the season it's anything but you know what I've wanted. So much it is out of your control, what contact injuries in there. because um, I think we're quite meticulous again in, in, in the work that we do with the players, with the physios and the sports scientists to make sure we're not exposing them to injury. So um there's been a lot that have been out with our control. Um but again I've been in the similar positions in the past and I think that sometimes you get too wrapped up in it and too caught up in it. And I'll go back over that that you know all I can do is focus on the guys that are fit at this minute in time um, and, and, and ensure that we give them our full support to, to try and get a performance on Sunday.